Hey everyone, this video is about how to add new column with a constraint to an existing table. That means, uh, for example, this student data that table has already is already existing in the database with just one column. And I want to add new columns along with the constraints. And how can I do it? I explain all the constraints: unique, not null, default, primary key, and check constraint, and how to add them when you're creating a new column. So let's start. Okay, the first, uh, if let's say I want to add a new column, that is, or uh, okay, I'll take the column names as column one, column two, column three, for the sake of simplicity. So alter table, table name, that is student data space. Since you are going to add a new column, this one is fixed. Alter table, table name, add. After that, you mention the name of the column. Let's say I'm going to call it column one. Column. One space the name of the column let's say it's integer now I want to add unique constraint to it so the method is again simple constraint constraint the name of the constraint let's say unique one two three four the unique one two three four is the name of the constraint you can give any name to the constraint then it's then the actual constraint name so let me remove this all this for you so alter table table name add column name new column name data type followed by the constraint word followed by the name of the constraint and followed by the actual constraint name so if you click on execute table alter so we are done with the unique constraint now let's move to the uh, let's talk about another constraint so i'll copy this because it's going to remain the same alter table table name. i want to add new column column 2 Again, data type, let's say VAR um, 300. Then I want to add a not null constraint to it. So, constraint, just give any name to, to your constraint, then the actual name of the constraint, and execute. Table must be empty uh, to add mandatory not null column. Now, why I'm getting this error, and even you will get the same error. If you will try to insert the primary key constraint and explain why let me do that for the sake of demonstration if I say primary key I'm going to add a new column primary key 3 and the name of the actual name of the constraint is primary key and click on execute Again, the same error table must be empty to add mandatory not null column. The reason why I was getting this error, let's check the details of our table. Select star from student data. Click on execute. I have one, two rows there. Fine. See, when you add a new column, an empty column is created there because I have inserted the values for serial number but I haven't inserted any value for another column and whenever we add a new column let's say I want to add a new column alter table table name add uh, example column the data type is integer if I do this alter table table name alter table table name add example column integer if I click on execute see a empty column is created without any mm -hmm. errors now coming back to the point that why we were getting error there in the case of not null if I click on this since it's already been created so I'll delete this command and if I click on execute it says that table must be empty to add the mandatory not null because the constraint is not null a column whenever a new column is created and if the table already has the rows an empty column will be created but our constraint is not null and not null means it cannot have the empty cell so it that's why there is violation of the constraint fine so you have to either empty the table first or you have to remove the uh, you have to copy your data first into some another table and then create your columns and then paste your data again. So what I will do, I will delete this uh, column serial number. 
so alter table table name student data then drop column column name is serial number and if I click let me comment the other commands so if I click on this execute table altered the column has been dropped so I'll remove this command and uh, let's check the table execute so the column has been dropped now if I execute the same command alter table table name alter table table name add column name column 2 data type followed by the constraint word followed by the name of the constraint and then the actual name of the constraint and table must be empty to add let me check is there anything in the table execute oh see I still have two columns it's not empty yet column 1 has two uh, null rows and example column has two null rows so I have to delete it so how will I delete it it's not the rows rows are still there but the values are null the values are missing so that's why it's still saying that you ha I have to uh, empty it so I'll apply the command delete delete from table name sorry student data student data and if I'm applying this command delete from student data that means I'm deleting all the rows without any condition now two rows deleted as you can see two rows were still there now if I execute this command let me remove this because all the rows are deleted and execute and now the table is altered similarly I'll do for so not null is done control X and control V so let's go for primary key now so if I click on execute and table altered as you can see even the primary key is now uh, we can enter the primary key now so this one is also done now let's go for check okay I want to check my table execute of course there is no row so I can't see anything but I want to know the table a column name so I write describe table name student data and describe execute okay we have four columns there okay now this uh, next one is your check constraint command is again same alter table table name add let's say the column is column number four data type is valcar and constraint is check constraint then the name of your constraint let's say check one two three four and uh, the name of the constraint actual constraint is check in the parenthesis you will mention your condition let's say the condition is column 4 in column 4 uh, I don't want the name starting with a so column 4 not like a percentage that means we cannot insert any any string which is starting with a in the in column 4 so execute and table alter okay so now the last one is your default constraint so alter table so let me comment it because it's already been done alter table table name and let's say column 5 varchar data type is okay varchar now the last one is your default constraint and you cannot give the name to your default constraint so I'll directly write default then your default value let's say um, India so like India here then semicolon execute and table alter this is how you add constraints 
and along with the new columns to the existing table so let me combine all the commands for you for for the revision purpose so we have the command is simple alter table table name add because you are going to add a new column so you will mention the column name followed by the data type after that you will do very simple in this this was your after this you are defining that you are going to add a new column with this data type and with that you will add a new definition and that I'm going to add a, this a constraint then any name to your constraint and then the actual name of the constraint and the same method has been followed for every constraint except your default and as you can notice that okay and in the case of default you will do alter table table name add column column name data type the same you do for column but you will not use the constraint keyword but you uh, instead of that you will enter the name directly you will enter the default value using the keyword default so with this we are done with how to add new columns along with the constraint to the existing table thanks for watching and do like share comment and subscribe and uh, bye